right where we left off yesterday or two days ago, I want to continue battling with you and me, myself. My name is Gladi, please enjoy yourselves. And this time we are going to change the music to something else. You know, Legend version 2, that, that's, that's some finance music, I gotta say. Anyway, um... Oh, what is this name? Hmm. I, I want to say it's... Okay, no, you know what? The first is a vowel and this, the last thing is a su, I think. Or this, whatever. However you're gonna pronounce it. I have no idea. <laughs> whatever. His team, or her team actually, is kind of, consists of a Tapu Bulu, a Scrafty, a Great Gengar, a Komo, oh, a... Milotic and the Charizard. Well, as well as Blanken, I know that. Mon, for some reason. But anyway, how am I going to go about this? I think I want to go about this with my trusty Slowking and my Hitman top, even though he has got a Milotic. I don't think Milotic will be doing too much damage against me. Also, Cacturn and Mawal will be going in the back. Like, this is absolutely 100% safe for me. Now, Zapdos does look really nice against this, his team. He has a Charizard, he has a Milotic, which get decimated by the Gigavolt Havoc. But he has, does have a Tapu Bulu, which kind of counters Zapdos. Well, it's a kind of a stalemate situation right there. Also, Komo beats Zapdos, so yeah, not so good. Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty safe with these four. Now, the worst lead he could pull off... Wow, the time ran out. I hope I, I registered those four ones that I wanted. His worst lead could be... Scrafty and Tapu Bulu, which would beat my lead. I'm totally aware of that, so let's hope he doesn't lead with that. Cloaking and him on top. Malotic and Scrafty, okay. Malotic I'm totally fine, Scrafty I'm not so fine with, even though he's, he's gonna get intimidated. So yeah, Malotic. Now, the thing is though... Hmm. Does this Malotic have Dragon Tail? I hope it does not. I'm just gonna try and set up Trick Room. As you can see I have Surf, that's because of some nifty reasoning <laughs> let's just say that let's yeah you will probably see it as a next turn okay so his melodic protects okay so he went for protect and fake god i'm assuming i don't know but yeah anyway so i feel pretty safe going for a protect with my slow king and switching in my character under that hit my top spot if he goes for a fighting type attack into Hitman top spot, I'm calling him a god from the rest of, for the rest of the game. But I don't think that will be happening because he he's most likely going for the dark type attack into Slow King, right? Knock off into the Slow King, yep. And the Scold coming out into character. Yeah, you see, I've got a Water Absorb which plays phenomenally well with my Surf, especially because I also have the Life Orb on me. So yeah, but however, I feel like I should Psychic and Seed Bomb the Milotic because Milotic is quite defensive and Cacturn isn't the strongest, even though he has got 115 base attack, I don't think it will be enough to, for this Milotic to take it out. Because he can barely take out a Tapu Fini with a Seed Bomb Life Orb boosted. I don't think, yeah. Okay, I should have switched in my Hitman Top in that case. Low kick, okay, Cacton isn't the heaviest thing, he should survive that, nice. Let's see, is he going to switch out the, the thing for something? You know what, I will just surf right here. And would I, will I seed bomb the Milotic, is the question. Will I seed bomb the Malotic or will I seed bomb the Scrofty? No, Scrofty isn't a threat, you know. 
So I feel safe going for this play. Chipping away on that at Scrafty. Also on that at Mylotic. Don't like to uh, clean too damage. <laughs> okay, that Scrafty seems to be Assault Wasted. Wow, and the Mylotic survived with like 1 HP. It's it's very. What is this? I did not sign up for this. My safety goggles will get knocked off. And he probably goes for Icy Wind, okay. Yeah, plus two it will knock out Cacturn, which is unfortunate, but... Hey, what you gonna do about it? So unfortunately I'm forced to switch in my... Mobile right here. Get the second Intimidate onto the Scrafty. But also get that Intimidate onto that Mylotic and raise its attack, a uh, special attack, I mean. It's kind of not looking good because we're already in turn 3 and we have not got picked up a KO. Or actually we're uh, in turn 4. I really need to conserve my Slow King somehow. I kind of need to pick up two KOs right here. Which uh, is impossible for me to do. Let's see, how will I do this? Will, how will I go about this? I think... I will go about this with switching in Hitmontop? No. What, what happens if I switch in Hitmontop? And... Protect. You know what? I will Psychic the Milotic. But also... Play rough the Scrafty. Even though Scrafty isn't a threat. Yep, I expected my Lodic to protect. That's why I did this. I, I should have. If I expected my Lodic to protect, I should have just. Oh, I forgot to make our wall. Whew! <laughs> wow, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting to say the least. Let's see. Gengar comes out. Okay. Now, if it, as long as he isn't, he isn't focus sashed, I should be able to pick up the knockout with this soccer punch. Yeah, he's Mega Gengar. Okay, he can't taunt me, and yeah, because I'm oblivious sl 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 slow king, and oblivious slow king. So let's see, how will this turn out, so... Sucker Punch coming out. Should take out the Gengar. Skull will take out my mo mobile most likely. Yeah, mobile isn't exactly the bulkiest thing, even though... He gets 40 in each defensive stat. 40. 40 points in each defensive stat when he Mega Evolves. Which is absolutely crazy, but it's still not enough. And wow, we're facing down a plus six Mylotic. I never thought I would see this day. Let's see, Komo. -oh. I think he will go for the Clangorous Soul Blaze right off the bat. Wow, plus six Mylotic. Sheesh. <laughs> so that's what I can say. That's all I can say right here. Um. So I think my last hope is really to somehow knock out this Como O and hoping that Malotic protects but he, he protects with neither, okay I think it, this has a good chance of knocking it out but I but it did not, whatever <sighs> oh my god and he crits on top of that, well there was no in surviving this yeah, I definitely... Wow, and he goes for the Clangorous Soul Blaze, even though there was no reason for it. Anyway, I think I will have to cut it right here. So see you after the animation. So yeah, the question still lies in the air. Or whatever the proverb is. How where did I lose this game? I definitely think I lost this game where I 
switched around my mons and didn't really pick up any KOs like like I was in turn four and I have haven't dealt any significant damage to the Milotic nor to any other mon that he had on the field. So that's definitely the mistake I was doing on my part. And that's what I've got to tell you about Trick Room teams. You really need to take advantage of those five turns of Trick Room. If, let's say, if you waste too many turns of Trick Room, you're going to lose because you have to take advantage of those. I can just reiterate that three times again and it will this edit message will stay the same. Take advantage of your Trick Room turns. That's all I've got to say for today. My name is Gary. Please enjoy yourselves and have a nice day and check back in two days. Thank you.